So we're going to try to talk a little bit about a series circuit here. Um, I'm going to construct one using this handy little program um, and try to just walk you through it. So I just put a battery. It's hard to read. I know this stuff is uh, on the side over here is kind of blurry, but uh, bear with me. This is a 9-volt battery, and I just put it into play here. This is a wire. All these blue things, these blue dots are meant to represent electrons, and uh, we're just going to put one bulb on here to see We'll connect them up in the series circuit. Here it is. We'll put this one up to there and we'll attach that one to there. So this is a very simple series circuit. You can see these yellow lines radiating out, which are meant to show that uh, this bulb is very bright, okay? Because the bulb is getting all of the voltage from the battery because it's got its own pathway. It's not sharing that voltage with any other resistors, uh, such as other light bulbs. So the voltmeter, let's just double check that. Here's a voltmeter, and we're going to put uh, one of these uh, against the one terminal of the um, of the, the light bulb and the other against the other and we'll see that the amount of potential difference from one end of the bulb to the other is 9 volts. I don't know if you can read that on there. It doesn't look like it but that's what it is. And if we check the uh, current in the wire we can just detect it with this. Uh, it says 0.9 amps. So knowing that this is a 9 volt battery and that this is a 0.9 amps of current flowing through, we could then use Ohm's law to calculate what the resistance of this light bulb must be. And according to Ohm's law, I equals V over R. So if I is 0.9 amps, V is, uh, what do we say, 9 volts, then R must be 10. Point, uh, 9 over 10 is 0.9. So we know then that this must be a 10 ohm resistor. Okay, well let's reset this and build a new oops, uh, build a new circuit okay same battery but this time let's put two bulbs in place um, and see what happens here's a wire here's a second bulb what do you think is going to happen hmm maybe you should pause it and think about it well there it goes the lights are not nearly as bright you can see that they're still radiating out but they're about half as bright and what is the reason for that you might want to know well if we do our voltmeter again here it is let's find out what the uh, voltage first coming through the battery is it's a 9 volt battery so will that change uh, the voltage in the battery just because we've added another light bulb no it won't still 9 volts in the battery um, but the difference is now since we're double we've doubled the resistance assuming that these are both the same resistance light bulbs We've doubled the resistance, which means that now they share the voltage of the battery since they're on the same pathway. So this one, if you can read that, says 4.5 volts, and we assume that this one over here is going to be 4.5 volts too uh, because they're the same resistance. So they share the voltage, add 4.5 and 4.5, and, and you get 9, which is the total voltage in the battery. Now what about the current flowing through the wire? Well, how about it? It's four and a half amps. Why is that? Because we have the same voltage, nine volts, but we've now doubled the resistance. Where before we just had one bulb and it was 10 ohms, now we've got two bulbs each at 10 ohms makes a total of 20 ohms of resistance. So according to Ohm's law, I equals V over R. V is still nine, but now R is 20. So nine over 20 is 0.45 and that's the current flowing through the wire. Now uh, if we change the resistance of one of these bulbs, let's see what happens. I'm going to just click on this and I'm going to change the resistance. Let's make it, uh, I don't know, just click something. How about 30? Um, now we've changed the resistance and look what happens here. I don't know if you can tell but this bulb right here is much brighter than it was before. Um, we have now upped the voltage um, in this bulb right here quite a bit. Let's see how much it's drawing now. It's drawing 6.75 volts, which means that 6 .9 minus this 6.75 must leave, uh, what, about 2.25 left on this bulb right here. So this one's not going to burn nearly as brightly as it did when it was getting a full 4.5 uh, volts. Now the current in the wire too has dropped significantly because the overall resistance has grown. It was 
uh, 20 when both of these were 10, but now this is 30, so this one's drawn, or this, uh, the total resistance is going to be 40. And 9 volts divided by 40 ohms of resistance gives us only 0.22 amps of current. Okay, this is a uh, series circuit as we add um, as we add bulbs, add resistors, we're going to get less and less brightness and if one of these goes out, all of them would go out. Now if one of them has more resistance than the other, that one is going to get a greater sh portion of the voltage, it's going to shine more brightly, this one is going to be dim. All right, Series circuits, up next is parallel. Good luck.